It's like the Venn diagram combo where you can't damage either of them with those circles. So <gasps> a lot of they're doing it. Yeah. They're doing brand it. This jungle. was banned against Canyon, but now Willer's just gonna pull out the brand jungle. Yeah, a lot of benefits to brand with the API optimization changes. They needed AP, as you said. They absolutely do. Uh, it's definitely exciting. It's definitely pretty interesting. But will it work out is the big question. Let's hop onto the rip for game number one. Yeah, the fans out. Ward comes in here from Fear X, just trying to establish some vision. I think that's so important when you have a brand jungle because especially before your level three, once you're level three, you know, you can stun, you can proc your passive, you have your full combo. But before that point, like if, if Zinzao was going to challenge you level two, he could just absolutely dismantle you. Oh, he's one on a burning target. Uh, your W gets more damage, so you can see him using it there. Yeah. Even the, the buff level one, not the most fun, but that, that burn definitely helping with the clear. For sure. Uh, if the brand was going to get double scuttle against Shin Zhao, I'm like, I don't know, I need to hang up my League of Legends license. This doesn't make any sense. Um, that's why it was a little bit close, and Gideon's going to flash away in just a straight up 3v3. He says, no, I don't want any piece of this. Like we said before, the scaling on the side of Bro is pretty insane. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, they have grouped up here. They do want to take a fight. Is that Lance is going to land onto a couple, but they're trying to get on top of Gideon. He's not level six. There's no hope for him. He doesn't have his flash, and down he goes. Just like that, first blood goes to Brand Jungle. And I feel like Grion really allowed Fear Action to set up for that one, you know? They started to land some skill shots. Gideon landed the W. He could have followed up with the dash in. They decided not to go for it, but they stayed around. It's like, pick what you're going to do. Firax had no such reservations. We see the ult come in from Closer, and the dragon is the reward. Willer on top of the gold graph by a pretty significant margin, at this point in the game at least. As Willer going to land that stun, could throw out the ult, and look at Effort, he's just burning down. Here comes Yone as Closer is over the wall, and that's just a free Lulu. Clears uh -oh. damage, but you've got to be careful when that ult hops and... Will the angle. For something? The angle. Yeah, he's trying to bring him back right into the hands of Brand. He has the mist up, but it just doesn't matter. The pyroclasm able to bounce back and forth. Yeah, you don't have to. It's going to bounce off of him as well. Already has that cooldown almost back. Effort this time. He's just trying to get away. He doesn't have his flash yet, and that is a nice crescent card to help save as now. Execute just going to flash away himself, but here comes Karas with the dunk, but where's the damage? Nobody is killing Execute as Gideon goes the left way, and now he's got a flash away from Closer. He's looking for even a little bit more here on Akaris, has the unbound soul, and now Karas has to flash, nearly dies anyway. Position on this one, there is a teleport available for clear. Here he comes as now teleport's coming in, and it's going to go the way of Brand again as Willer just steps in there and takes the objective away as that Pyroclasm just bouncing on the rest of the members, and Gideon is just left to the birds here, just taken down as another objective and another fight will go the way of Fear X. Well, you just get melted by the Randall. You know, you've seen a lot of games. Uh-oh, here we go again. I mean, look at this damage. He has to pop. The Crescent Guard effort takes uh, half his health and damage as well, just standing there as you were talking about. And we've seen a lot of games where the junglers are kind of behind on XP and gold. Willer is almost in first place. <laughs> yeah. From the jungle. Three levels up. Oh, oh, he's under a little bit of pressure here, trying to zone for Willer, who's just soloing the dragon. Has his team nearby. Objective bounties are up. They can try to steal this one. Here comes Morgan. And he runs straight into two people. The rest of the team just zoning them away. Gideon is providing a front line, but Closer zones away the rest of the team. And now the Crescent Guard is down, as this dragon is pretty low as well. DRX is trying to decide what they want to do. They do want to go for the fight, it seems. They pick up the dragon. As he all comes in, and Closer goes on to Envy. As he will dash away, one more hit will do it. And that should be the end of him. Down goes the Zeri. And now it's five to zero in three dragons, yeah. right? Yeah. And this Baron is going to melt. Ran the uh, the ult pop when you have three abilities on it does so much damage. So this is getting melted. Bro, no, they have to contest. But there's a Cassante in the way who can just pull Gideon away if he wants. Honestly, I don't even I don't even know if I would contest at this point. There's zero chance of winning this fight, and now you're just being bamboozled in the back line here as Gideon is just desperately trying to survive. Kara is just going to defensively ult, and it's a disaster for Bro. Fear X are going to dominate them once again. They take down the Baron, and now they're barreling down the mid lane. 
No, I, I don't believe you are. And he's got some support from his buddy Yone as the rest of the team is just pushing in mid. Uh, execute and closer can kind of be in both lanes at the same time. Their champs have insane amount of mobility and they're just kind of bullying them at this point. They're going to take down mid inhibitor and it's all over but the engage you would expect. Gideon in the front line. Look at the damage in the back line while it's happening. You don't even get to stand there and contest this. You just have to go back to the fountain. It is a pretty brutal situation and you still have the ult from Yone and the ult from Rakan. They're looking. Yeah, there it is. A three-man ult comes in from closer as Karis gonna kill. tries to put them into the fountain and that they do, but that's all they're going to get. Just the one. As now, Fearx considering, hey, maybe we should end this game. Not 100% sure. Everybody's so fed at this point. Even Hannah can just step up to the team. They'll take down the turrets. Some low health bars here from the soldiers of Azir, but I don't think Fearx want to waste any more time in this game. They want to move on to the next one. As Karis is being bullied now. Oh, no! He oh gets my pulled love. in! Why did you have to do it to him? As there you go. Victory for Fearx. Game number one was... Even if you do see it early, you do have a decent amount of uh, mobility in the Ezreal, the Lee Sin, the Renekton, but it is going to be Bard as well coming on in here. Looks like we're just about ready to hop into game number two. We'll have to wait and see if this composition this time around works out for OK Savings Bank, Brian, or will Fear X pull ahead in this 1v1 matchup. I know it's Morgan is playing it. It's a lot of comfort, but it just feels like Udir just does whatever he wants. I mean, he can break yeah. through his shield. Yeah, but not Malphite. Not Malphite, no. Um, Malphite's not really on the same tier yeah. <laughs> as those two champions at this moment in time. So Malphite honestly feels a lot more stoppable at the moment. Yeah. The ultimate, you know? You know, at least relatively. As we are going to get this root here on an Envy, he is playing Ezreal. Uh, he says, instead of Arcane shifting away, I'm going to take half my health bar and damage. Now, he is playing with Bard, so I at least he has say. some sustain. That this kind of shows the trust that Henna has in his support. Because I saw the cannon getting very low on health as that trade started, and Henna gave up the cannon to contribute to the trade. So I'm not sure many AD carriers would do that. He's only level 4 Ukong. They only have heal as combat sums. And they're only level 2. They're not even level three here. This is going to be a lot of damage coming in. Heal used early for Execute Envy. Just trying to get away, but his first blood going to Hannah. He flashes. We got a 2v2 in top, but that's not really amounted to too much. As Envy, with his teleport, at least we'll get back here to the lane. Firax, instead of going for the dive, but there's the risk. that's going to translate into an early dragon. And this was something they did in the previous game as well, was stacking up those early dragons. It won't be a Hextech soul again, but it feels like that has been the leading strategies in game so far. Void Bub just doesn't really hold up to... I mean, it's not so much just the power you get from the Dragons, but the threat of converting to a soul later. Well, the Rift Heralds seems to be pretty handily in uh, Phyrex's favor here. Doesn't seem like Bro want to contest it. They will try to put pressure on the bottom side of the map while this is happening. Take some of the jungle, maybe get some pressure onto this turret. But Closer is just standing here contesting this as well. I stole the majority of the Krugs. <laughs> But yeah, they might lose this turn. And here's the value from the Void Grubs, you know? When you get a hit a tower for once. We'll see if it actually ends up being their dragon. That's a nice little sealed fate. It's going to deny the turret going down for now, but they still have this Rift Herald to help them push just a little bit of damage into this oh. one. Look at the damage already from Henna. As effort, he's going to need a lot of healing to get through that one. The poke damage is uh, a big problem right now for Bro. Yep. And they actually just need to keep chunking them out, and this dragon's going to be secured. Looks like the Arctic going to be able to get this mid tower. The open bard slowed it, but won't stop it. And now, Rion trying to navigate round. Effort's still super low on health. And the dragon has been started. Hope coming in, doesn't connect. Yeah. Hannah also, no blue buff or anything, so getting a bit low on mana. It's not oh, the end of the world. Yeah. Uh, Morgan is going to be spotted here by clear. The two of them just going to go head to head. Clear does go over the wall. So this flank could potentially come in a nice uh, true shot barrage to come out from Envy. As Execute just waiting for it. The flash on in with the ult. He's trying to take out Karis, and they do just like that. Execute a very aggressive play, and it does work out. No! Closer gets back in. They take out the enemy jungler, and Envy is left 
to the Sharks. That's going to be this Dragon going the way of Virax. But uh, the extra 12% <laughs> definitely helps his team follow up. Yeah. But it's just like, that's how your combo goes as well. You know, you queue in, you get the auto, you get the root, and now everyone in your team is doing 12% extra damage, and you get that team proc. <laughs> oh, clear, you're just bullying him, and now, and uh, can he hit oh! the shot? Yes, he can! Oh! And the cinders come out of him. And look at Udyr, he's just diving the turret, he doesn't care. Envy doesn't exist anymore. I see Ezreal just not able to do anything. The seal like, fade here is just desperation. Like a pinata, <laughs> he just <laughs> exploded. But uh, maybe a pick of some sort. That could work too. Gideon has been somewhat passive this entire series. I know he's itching to make something happen. It's gotta be the virus, it's gotta be the virus. This is the one, this is the one. He's gonna get the kick and no stun comes in, but the seal bait, maybe he can land a stun. Yeah, Henna is not gonna be able to do anything and the damage finally comes out from the Orianna. But the follow-up is it there. Effort's getting pretty low. He's going to be taken out. His cinders are flying everywhere. And I think that might just do it. Oh, a nice uh, divide here from Closer. Is just going to put an end to any kind of fight here from the side of OK Brion. As Morgan is on the run, Envy is on the run. Can you run away from the Udyr? Generally not, but <laughs> Envy is pretty far in there. And Willer's going to find Morgan here as well. He should win this fight. Eventually. Oh, oh, that was slick, actually. That was pretty cool. Has he got it? Has he got it? <sighs> yeah, he's no, going to get no, it. No, he's not. Well, Willer's going to get it. Oh, I sorry, mean. yeah. I thought I'd got the recall. Um, this is still going on. <laughs> Morgan's still running. And I think he can just dash over this wall and he will get out. So Willer's just going to give up on it. But yeah, just another fight. That one was pretty much the best chance that Bro were going to have, though. It's yeah. still going to be Infernal Soul going the way of Fira. I'm uh, I think he's good. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other guys? Are they good too? Yeah, I think they're good. Hook here on a Morgan. That's not the target you want to execute. Though it's just going to go for whatever he can go for. Envy has to hop away as execute will go down. But I think this is still going to be a Fear X victory in the fight as Willer picks up two kills. A lot of damage from that True Shot Barrage. And this Baron still has full health. But Hannah is just hitting like a truck right now. Yeah, not connecting as many piercing arrows as I'd maybe hope, but with Jungler dead, you just have the Udia body block the mystic shots and you're good. Yeah, and he's just gonna turn oh onto Envy here as run well. Run Envy! Oh no, run away! You're not gonna get away though! <laughs> as Udia will take down two, and he'll get a little bonus oh, kill on the Lord. car as everybody is just popping like balloons. That's an ace, and I think that should be the game here for Fear X. There is really just no counterplay that Brion has. <laughs> To this as uh, to this Udia, he just charges at them, and again, you know, picking up the little uh, the embers, but the Baron in hand, they can start to really damage Bro's base. And at this point, the game is pretty much done. FA is going to respawn. We'll see if they try and end now if they go for the reset. But it is Fear X, so I don't think they fear any retaliation from Bro. Fear X, they don't fear anything, and they're going to go in here. Take a look at that damage from Hannah when he actually hits his piercing arrow as Gideon. Oh no. Admire the effort, but not going to get anything done here. This is going to be Fear X picking up the 2 0, but they're not done yet. They want to get some more kills as in goes Willer, and Closer gets pretty low. He's hitting that Nexus, but he does pop as well. That's the 2 0.